What's up, worms? Welcome back to another one here. It's a beautiful sunny day up here in Minnesota. And today we're pretty much gonna go through my ice fishing gear because it's almost safe ice, but almost not really. And I'm not really gonna go out there right now. So I'm just gonna show you guys my gear. So let's get my garage open and show you what I got. All right, so I got both of my garages open here and this is my 94 GMC Sierra pickup 2500 the bed of it that I don't need anymore and then you got if you've been watching my past videos we've got excuse how messy my garage is seriously uh the transmission manual the motor transfer case cross member the hitch whole bunch of truck parts right so we got all that cool stuff here going on and my ice fishing stuff is right there and I can't really move this truck out of the garage right now because oh yeah, I got extra bumpers here too. All the good stuff that we're gonna need to rebuild this truck here, but the exhaust is out on this truck, which means I had to take out the cross member, which means the transmission and everything else underneath is supported by that jack stand. So this truck doesn't really move, but for shits and giggles, we're gonna hop in here and start it with no exhaust. Sounds good. Just give her a little bit, you know. It's not bad considering it's just headers, but oh, there it goes. Yeah, man, she still runs. She still rips. A lot of good memories in this truck here, but with all that done and set aside, as to why I'm going to be monkeying around up there you know this truck it, it runs and drives it just doesn't really have anything underneath supporting the belly of it so i'm gonna crawl up there in the best fashion i can to get that down and it's gonna get frustrating for me here really quick so you know barely in a room to walk right here because i got a couple of chevy grills and stuff <sighs> Success. All right, worms, welcome to the garage here. And I'm gonna walk you through pretty much all my ice fishing stuff that I bring out with me here in Minnesota. So let's start with the auger, what I used to drill the holes. This is an eight inch pistol bit auger by Eskimo. I power it with an 18 volt Milwaukee drill. I bring two of these batteries with me just in case, but one is more than enough. Um, what I used to find the fish is this here, Vexlar FL12. Nothing super fancy by any means, but it's got a rod holder on it. A very nice transducer. I use uh, the bell here as like a tip up if I don't want to use a tip up outside. 
I'll set up another rod right here and just put the bell on it and it'll ding if a fish bites it. I like that. So that's my Vexlar. Um, I have these lights here. This is the dial that controls it here. So it'll, it'll go dim or brighter depending on how you have it set there. But I have two of them and they plug in wire up together. There's plenty of wire and it'll just hook up to the back of my Vexlar here and they will illuminate and be very bright. Two of them is more than enough for the house that I have for my liking. So I really like these, very nice to have. Um, I also have this here fish cam, nothing super crazy. It's just a underwater camera, but it's got this little tube TV, if you will. And then uh, this is the camera here. That's where the batteries are. They're all, the batteries are all tucked in back there, but that's the camera for it. And this is kind of cool. You can see what's down there. You can watch your jig, see if there's fish coming at it. Nice little tool to have when you're out there on the ice. Set that aside here. One thing I like to bring out there with me is a couple rolls of like old carpet. And when you're done like drilling your holes, you're sitting there fishing. This is nice just to have under your feet just to have, I don't know, it just keeps your feet warmer. It is nice to have. And what I also have to keep warm, I use this torch and or this lighter. They're both butane powered, so it's all the same. Just this lights better in windy weather. But I have this double sunflower heater that I hook up to a big propane tank. And I normally will just run this in my fish house. And that keeps me plenty warm. Half the time I'll just start it with two and just shut off one and just run one and that'll keep me just warm enough to get out there and fish um tip ups i mentioned earlier let's drop the flag for it but this is also a tip up here you pretty much uh tie your lure on here spool it through here correctly and when the fish gets it it'll spin see the spool spinning and that'll set off a flag that uh will let you know a fish is on this line here so you better get run into it. And I have two of those of that style. Okay, and I also have this bag here, which is a, uh, a version of a rod holder bag, if you will. And then I got two of this style tip up here. You can see how that works. Pretty much the same thing, it just doesn't have the whole cover, so it might freeze over, but also still a very nice thing to have. As a backup if you need it. Try not to knock everything over as I go here. Um, this is also nice to have. Uh, you pretty much just like screw that into the ice and then it'll hold your rod for you. It kind of works like this thing, but just a free, a free by itself one. Um, for cooking fish, I got, you know, probably not the best filet knives, but I got two of them, a little sharpener for them. A regular pot. I'll bring some oil, some shore lunch. Cajun is my favorite. And then this is my heater or cooktop that I use for it. So I can have it set like this or like this. Throw my pot on there. This is where the gas can goes. And yeah, I can cook up fish when I'm out there or eggs, burgers, whatever I really want just off this right there. That's nice to have. I love that. Um, I guess let's talk about the fishing rod. This is the fishing rod I got here. It's Abu Garcia. I got it from Fleet Farm. I believe they're like 40 bucks. One of my favorite ones I ever had. Um, I have a rod case, a hard case. So like I can throw it around, beat it up and my rod won't get smacked around too bad. And these are just parts and pieces and then the uh, extension bit for the auger there. Uh, and then all the rods, uh, stakes to hold down my fish house. And it's got a lot of padding in there. So like it's, it's very nice. I'll throw some camera gear in there sometimes just to keep it nice and dry. That's my rod case I, for jigs. 
I'll bring like two of these cases out there. Nothing super fancy. I'm not like a super fancy guy. But uh, these are just, just a peek at kind of what I use here. Seems decent. Couple little jigs, nothing too crazy. Tungsten jigs are honestly my favorite with a live minnow. That'll get you crappies. Or I have jigs like uh, like this for the bass or northern pike. Uh, I got some fake bait from Frostbite. Bunch of fake bait stuff. Um, little balls you can tie on that shake, make noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe you can. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, weights. Other little jigs and stuff. Nothing too crazy, but I generally will just run like a little tungsten jig like that. That is what I will try to use to get the fish um, to clear my holes. There's two different styles you can use. There is the hand scoop. That's just like this. It's traditional. It's kind of nice to just have next to you just to clear your hole quick as you're fishing because slush will get in there as you fish depending on how ridiculous you are. But this one to start is actually very nice. You just dip it in the hole, flip it, and then you can scoop out all the ice, pretty much all the slush in one scoop. That's awesome. Um, the sled that I used to haul everything is just a uh, sled here. Baboon, white camo style. I dragged it around a lot, as you can see. So yeah, I fit pretty much all that stuff in that sled and strap it all down. I'll give you guys a shot of my uh, fish house here when I can set it up. It's really windy outside and it doesn't really fit in my garage. So I'll get you guys a shot of that. Around the beautiful Silverado. And then this is my fish house that I got for Christmas a year ago, and I've just used the crap out of it. It's a Eagle Claw Chappelle Wide House 6500. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see on the inside here because I got all the lights off, but I mean, it's got windows that open and or are clear to see through. So yeah, last space on the ground, plenty of space, all the good stuff, just your simple pop-up fish house, nothing too crazy. So yeah, you guys, that'll pretty much conclude what I got for my ice fishing gear. If you uh, enjoyed what you saw here, or if you got any uh, comments on what I should maybe get next, let me know down below. Like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of ice fishing this year. It's going to be sweet. See you. Bye, worms.